afternoon to anyone hanging out. If you're hanging out around our cheetah run, at 3 o'clock we will be doing our final cheetah run of the day. But much like the savannah grasslands of Africa, a cheetah run isn't home only to cheetahs. We have another animal that we're about to do a training session with right here before our run at 3 o'clock. And this is an animal that you might not necessarily think about being in Africa. You only really think about larger animals, lions, elephants, hippos, all those bigger ones. But the savannah grasslands are full of life. And if you look closely into the grasses or maybe even up to the sky, you might find an animal like Cornelius who's coming right behind us, trotting out here really cute. I know it's awesome, right? This is a ground hornbill. This is the largest species of hornbill in Africa. You can see, I know, I love it when I see people's jaws just drop with that five foot wingspan that Cornelius will show off once again flying around. And this is a ground hornbill, but as you can see, they are incredible flyers. Ground hornbills will use that wingspan to help them maybe escape other predators that might be hanging out in the savannah grasslands or to help them catch their food. They're awesome predators. But at the end of the night, they'll also use those wings to jump up into a tree to roost for the evening. But then as soon as the sun comes up, they're going to head to the ground to start hunting. And here comes Cornelius running down our track like a cheap with blazing speed. With technical difficulties with blazing speed. Just kidding. Not as fast as a cheetah, but you can see walking on the ground, this is a natural behavior of ground horn that would be doing. This is foraging. So right now, Cornelius is looking for little flowers on the ground. As an omnivore, they're going to eat things like flowers and berries, but also they are incredible predators. They'll eat anything from small lizards, frogs, even a tortoise. You guys see that giant beak? That is one of the only animals that can actually crack open a tortoise shell. But not only are they very resourceful with the tools in their body, now we're picking up speed to get cheetah. Um, but not only will they use that resources on their body, but they're also really smart. This is another natural behavior, seeing them run on the ground because they follow behind large groups of hoofstock, gazelle, and impala, and zebra, in the savannah grasslands. Because as those bigger animals are running, they're gonna stir up the grasses, scare smaller things like a lizard or a frog out of the way, but smartly, the ground hornbill is right behind them in order to go ahead and get that tasty meal. Now, we do need someone else's help. Do 